Today's video is brought to you by this comment. I need to know everything. Who in the what in the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. This is the effect I'm looking to recreate today. If I do say so myself, I think I got pretty damn close. Let's get right into it. Get started, I got my subject masked out. Then a second clip underneath it is the background. You're going to highlight the background clip, right click, go to open infusion. Infusion, you're going to grab a background node. You're going to leave it black. Or you can change the color if you like. With the background node highlighted, you're going to grab the rectangle mask. In the inspector tab, check invert. And then you're going to resize your box. You want to make sure the box actually cuts into the subject to get the background cutout effect. You're going to go into the inspector tab of the rectangle mask. On the center, you're going to right click, modify width, and you're going to go down to XY path. And you'll then get options to the modifiers. Click on there. X and Y path has keyframe set for them. You're going to double click those to reset them. Go back to X, you're going to right click, modify width, and you're going to go down to perturb. In the perturb modifier, you can cut up the strength. I won't cut it up too high, probably will cut it down so it don't wobble too much. You can kind of adjust the wobble. You can change the speed to your liking. You can hit reseed to randomize it if you want. The basis is going to give you a, a shape going back and forth, or side to side, rather. Go back into your spectrum tab and click on Y and X path. You're going to go to Y, right click, modify width, perturb again. Change your settings to your liking. And that's going to animate the background or animate the mask, brother. That's the effect. It's a simple one, but a real cool one. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video.